Hey guys, um, today's video is going to be a little bit longer than normal. I apologize in advance. Uh, I just hope that you stay with me through the video. Um, I have a lot to say um, that mean a lot to me. Um, and then at the end, I will throw in my day six gratitude challenge um, as we go. So let's start with my birthday was the other day, as many of you know. Um, and I had turned 24. Um, and I can tell you that the few days before my birthday, I remember talking to my husband and saying, you know, I feel old. I, I feel like um, at 24, I feel old, like my life is gone too far and I, I haven't succeeded enough. I haven't progressed enough. I don't have enough money. I'm not comfortable enough. I'm not, you know, all these things. And I remember uh, he said to me, he said, well, you're, you're not even like a quarter of a century yet, Chelsea. Like, you're not that old. You're only 24. And um, that kind of snapped me back into reality. Um, but I want to tell you that on top of uh, feeling older in the aspect of my success in life, um, I can say that I have recently, in the past three or four months maybe, had a huge struggle <clears throat> causing anxiety attacks, sleepless nights, um, uncontrollable crying, um, of the fear of the inevitable that is the end of human life. Um, and so that's really smacked me lately. Um, I am thankful for that, but also a little bit scared of that um, because in being thankful for that, I have drawn myself a little bit closer to God um, in the aspect that um, I, f I believe um, and I have faith that he is the only one true one that knows um, what his plan for me is and how successful I will be before my end actually does come. Um, but I can tell you that I really, if having that fear, it makes me second guess what is going on in society that a 24-year-old girl feels like her life is going to end um, between uh, murders, between suicide rates, between car accidents, uh, preventable diseases, non-preventable diseases, preventable car crashes. All of these things are on a serious rise because society has just stopped caring. And I don't agree with that at all. I... I feel like it sh I should not be at 24. I feel like I'm not doing enough because in all honesty, I feel like nothing I do, no matter how old I am, I feel like it's never going to be like I feel fully successful because I just feel like society doesn't give me the approval that me as a person is good enough to do anything that I would want to or plan to, any of those things. Um... I feel like at 24, I should not be worried that why am I my only friend that doesn't have kids or why, what am I supposed to be doing with my life? If I don't have kids, I, I'm clearly not making the right choices and I don't, I, my life is nothing if I don't have a kid. I have wanted a kid since I was probably like 16 or 17 years old. Embarrassing, but true. Um, and that's not okay. The society that we live in now is totally different. My mom can tell you that, you know, teenage pregnancy when she was younger was so different. Uh, my father continuously tells me not to rush on children. He wants grandchildren, but not to rush because that's just not how it's supposed to be. You know, um, I really genuinely, most days feel like crap because I don't have a kid and I need to... I know that I'm not the only one. I need to reach out and let everybody else know that, listen, we are in our 20s or our early 30s. It doesn't matter what you feel like you should be doing. We are all successful in our own ways. Whether you are in your 20s and have an amazing job and you live on your own, own it. Be independent. Be alone. Love the fact that you are providing for yourself and you don't need anybody else. 
go on a date or two or go on a 12 dates. Who cares? But be successful in who you are. Don't try to be successful in who anybody else is. Nobody. Whether, like me, you have never lived on your own but are now living your life and whether you're still single, living with your parents, whatever it is, you are successful in something in your life. There is one thing that you and only you can do and that's why we are here. I believe that. I believe that I am successful in the fact that I'm 24 years old and I have now seen Japan. I was born in America, barely ever left New York State, and in the past year, I've been to California and Japan, and I drove from one side of the country to the other. So I have traveled through so many different states. This past year has been so different for me, and your year is coming. Your month is coming. Your day is coming. We are all going to reach that day that we need, the day that we long for. It's going to happen, and for that, I promise, I can tell you, it may not be today or tomorrow or this year or next year, but there will be a year that you will reach it. I have faith in that. Love who you are. Love the success that you have. Love the point in your life where you're at because you'll never get to be here again. Tomorrow may feel like you're in this position, but it won't be because it'll be tomorrow. It'll be a different day. It'll be a different outfit. It'll be a different people that you run into at the grocery store or at the exchange or, you're, you know, wherever, depending on where you are in this world, there will be a different person each day that you see. Whether it's Facebook, in person, it doesn't matter. Please, please, please. We need to start loving ourselves and loving the things that we are rather than the things that we think that we need to be. So, I'm going to say at the end of my video that my gratitude challenge, my thing that I'm grateful for is I am extremely grateful that I am a 24-year-old married woman living in Japan with two beautiful, beautiful animals that I love more than life a loving family, being a plus-size person, being bigger than others. I am so grateful that I got to see 24 long years of life and the people that I met, all of you. If, if you're on my Facebook, you're a friend that I've known and I'm grateful for you on top of everything else. Thank you. And I pray and I pray and I hope if you don't aren't religious, then I hope and I feel that I hope that you love you and you enjoy anything that God has to offer you or that you plan on your own. Have a good day, guys.